going to turn to the trailer park, uh, frontage road. It's just going to dead end back to the cemetery. It's getting some units up here in DK9. Just some five minutes after the undercover unit started following the teens, it takes a tragic turn in the Royal Palm Cemetery. He's off road in the water. They're in the water stranded. Cars bobbing around. They're trying to crawl out. Looks like somebody had a window. I see a foot coming out. Trying to crawl out. Looks like somebody had a window. I see a foot coming out. Yeah, I got, I got a good vantage point. There's nobody out. It's sinking still. No, I don't see anybody. It's going down now. I hear him yelling, I think. This is the Royal Palm Cemetery where the Pinellas County Sheriff's Officer Howard Skaggs chased the three girls to their deaths. The Sheriff's Department says that they weren't chasing the girls or pursuing them, but they were right behind their car doing 35 miles an hour according to their own reports. I'm going to take you through this road. Now this is in the daytime. Imagine this at night at 35 miles an hour just so you can see. That's 30. That's 35 miles an hour right now. According to the Pinellas County Sheriff's Department, this isn't chasing. That's not chasing them according to Robert Galtieri. And that's where they died. Not knowing who was behind them, Officer Skaggs was in an unmarked car. He did not have his blue lights on, but he did have his bright lights on running right behind them trying to scare these girls into the pond. 